Hey guys, I have a couple of orders that came in. So I am going to go to the couple of uh, scrapbooking things first. So I have uh, two, I think these are two stamps. Yeah. So um, I was watching, I think it was Hibba, uh, my little journal. And she was. Uh, showing this coffee stamp set that I really liked. And so I went over and picked it up. And they also had, if, if you bought a certain item and stuff like that, you got <coughs> you got a certain, um, you got some kind of freebie. So, which it was actually getting on my nerves because there was like three freebies. But when you put it on, it, it was the the app the website was acting up but anyway so but i did get two freebies so let's see <clears throat> this is some kind of advertisement i guess i'll have to look at that i'll look at it later okay and then let's see so you get a retractable racer that's neat let's take a look at this <clears throat> okay. Kind of neat. <clears throat> All right. And so that's that one. And then I guess these are the refills. So you get the refills. That's nice. Alright, <clears throat> so that'll go in my planner bag. Okay, and then we'll look at the stamp set. I thought this was really cute. <clears throat> so this is a six by eight. So these uh stamp sets are kind of, these uh images are kind of big. So I just thought that I would share these deep presso. That's cute. <clears throat> All right, so that's that one there. Um, they did have where you could get the um, the dies to go with it. I didn't pick that up. All right, and so that's that one. And then uh, this is my monthly stamp, uh, my monthly subscription from Studio Calico. And this is a six by eight as well. So let's take a quick look at it. <clears throat> you know, you could reuse these little bags. You can just um, cut off. You could cut off the sticky part here. You don't have to have a stamp envelope. Um, envelope. You could cut off the sticky part here and then cut this part off here. And it, it will be a little um, stamp sleeve. But I buy some stamp sleeves uh, to, to put this in because I, I like the sturdiness of them. <clears throat> but I was just saying, you can, you don't have to. And so this is the monthly stamp. It's nice. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought this um, on my own, but it's nice. I don't hate it. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> so that's that. And so let's see. Oh, so the Pin Boutique, they sent an email or a text message, I think it was. I think I got several little text messages saying that they had this um, pen that was like $180 and they marked it down to $50. And, um, so I said, well, let me try it. I don't always, um, I'm not always satisfied with this stuff that they um, have, like the mystery boxes and stuff but you know with this one you know exactly what you're getting so let me try it i'm i'm not um big in the cost but i don't know 
they're good company. I just they their their pants just don't excite me for whatever reason. All right, so this is the cross pin, and then let's see what I got here. I don't remember what I bought. <clears throat> so let's see. We have who packed my order. And then this is probably the refund policy. Yes. It comes with every order. All right. <clears throat> See what's in this one. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> what is this about? Okay. I don't remember. I don't know what this is. Well, I got an empty box. Maybe once I look at this, I'll know why, but I don't get it. Okay. All right. It's a neat box. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. This is not just cardboard. <clears throat> okay. And then, so, I thought it was one of those lift up, but it's a hinged box. So, let's take a look. Okay. It's nice. <clears throat> okay, let's see if there's anything under here. Yeah, there's an ink cartridge under here. <clears throat> and let's take a look at this. Oh, so we get a pamphlet. And, and then this is kind of like a little blow. And then this is velvety. This is nice. So they put a lot of, you know, presentation in this. <clears throat> so here we are. Hmm. So this looked like it would have been a really nice, like, graduation gift or something. And there's an idea. Because the last time I looked, I think they still had these. Like, if you know somebody graduating this year, this might be neat to give. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then let's take a look at the pen. Honestly, it's just kind of hmm, boring. But, I mean, it's nice. It's um, a thin pen. Um, I guess this is enamel or something. Um, just not a whole lot going on but let's look at it yeah if i had paid 180 dollars i'd be pissed so it didn't come with a converter okay so this must be a snap on top well yeah just have to really pull okay so let's take a look at that nib. Focus. There we go. Now that's neat. The inscription on the nib is neat, and this is a medium. So not bad. <clears throat> But it's pretty tiny. Yeah. This is for somebody with small hands, really. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if I can compare it. So, this is a vanishing point. It's as tall as a vanishing point. It's just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as substantial. It just feels like a tiny pen, and it does not, in my opinion, feel like a pen that's $180, you know? 
Like, if I paid $180 for this, I'd be mad. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, um, that's that. But 50 bucks. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's get that one out of the way. And I don't get this. Maybe there's something in my email that explains that. All right. And then uh, I got a pen from Goulet Pens that I have been waiting for them to restock. Um, I didn't know anything about this pen until I think around Christmas time they did like a, a best pens of 22. I think that's where I found out about this pen. They was like, oh, it's so like hotcakes. As soon as, it, um, as soon as it became available and they said that they were going to restock it. And so... Um, I went over and I hit um, notify me when when it's restocked and they did and I immediately I was at work I was I immediately dropped what I was doing and ordered it because it's just hopefully it's as pretty in person as it looked online so let's take a look. <clears throat> Sorry, I see I always have to clear my throat when I'm on the video. And I don't realize I'm doing it till later. Alright. Let's see. I just wrapped in here. Oh, Adam did mine this time. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> about the sticker now this is cute usually i like the ones when they give you like the uh, ink blotches but i like this one too and then tootsie pop all right <coughs> and then we have the pen so well, this is my first one of them i don't um i've never had this company before take a look um i mean the box is cute but it's not a, nothing outstanding about it it's just a excuse me it's just a, a regular cardboard box and there is my pen let's see okay and so it comes in i call this a apple turnover work i used to work in fast food and uh that's how we used to put our uh, apple turnovers <laughs> in there. I don't know what you're supposed to call it. <laughs> That's what I call it. All right. And oh, we got warranty information. And care information. All of that jazz. And then we got one. Um, That's a big cartridge, I think. <laughs> <coughs> All right, and let's see if I can open this and not drop it. If you um, watch my other videos, I dropped one of my pens. Oh, by the way, speaking of, that pen turned out all right. Um, but I um, I addressed it on this other one. But, um, yeah, it um, is um, good as new. All right, so let's see if I can get it out of here. All right, da, 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 da. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> and it looks exactly like what it says it is. It looks like a, co um, a cup of coffee. It looks like an iced coffee. Like, uh, it looks like a frap, a caramel frap, which is my favorite. And I like my caramel fraps from McDonald's. Um. Starbucks, they're okay, but I think the McDonald's one tastes better. Just saying. <laughs> and then we got a little bit. I think they said that each one of these are, uh, you know, like no two pens are alike. So that's really pretty. So let's take a look. And so this is not resin. I don't know what this is. Um, it feels like plastic, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. 
So, I don't know what this is, though. I don't want to insult them by saying it's plastic. Okay. Very cute. Very nice. And I'm thinking, I can't remember if you could order this in fine. Let me see. If that's an F for fine. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if you were able to. Yep. Yes, this is fine. But I was trying to think because there's there's another pen I ordered and they only had it in medium. So I was trying to make sure I wasn't saying the wrong thing. So this one is fine. Fine is my favorite. All right. Then let's look this up. Then you get a converter. And I like that you screw it in. It feels more secure. But hmm, maybe you don't have to. Yeah. Anyway. So now I'm going to have to figure out which one I want. What I want to put in this. I do have an ink that's called chocolate. But we'll have to see. Because I, I got that in the um, Pilot Custom 823. So anyway, um, I just thought that I would share that with you guys. I think it's so pretty. So heavy. They have another Bennu pen that I got my own, but I'm trying not to buy anything else. I said that in, um, let's see, that Canadian store, uh, 26 Market, they have 20% off of everything. And, um... I went and bought some superior labor things. Y'all, even the superior labor th stuff is 20% uh, off. So, you might want to check that out. It, uh, today is uh, February the 11th. So, anyway, um, that's all I had to share, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.